We are going to continue now with the Finistake, uh, huge, gigantic, annotated reference Bible. I, I am going to be dealing with that today in a couple of ways. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is to show you uh, something in the book of Job that allows us to see some of the other Bibles that Dake had referenced to while he was uh, writing this. And this happens to be in the book of Job in the Old Testament, of course, in the book of Job, uh, chapter 25 on verse 5, where it says, Dead things are formed under the waters and the inhabitants thereof. Now, dead things are formed from under the waters. Now let's go back and see what's going on here. Because what we have is a note here from the letter E. So if we find the letter E, that's dead things, that's where it starts. Now what's interesting about letter E, and I'm going to be reading this to you somewhat, because this letter E has to do with the Hebrew word R-A-P-H-A, -A, which means Nephaim, giants, the offspring of the fallen angels and the daughters of men. Now, here's what's interesting about Dake. When he talks about this, what he is doing here is telling us other Bibles that he uses to describe them, and he will even quote them here. So I will do that for you. First, what he says is, uh, the Septuagint reads, and I quote the Septuagint, are giants going to rise up from beneath the waters and the places near its neighborhood? Moffat's Bible says, before him the primal giants writhe under the ocean in their prison and underwent lies opened in his eyes. Fenton's Bible says, the Rephilim themselves were destroyed and rest themselves under the sea. The Young's literal translation says, Nephilim are formed beneath the waters and are it also their inhabitants. Now, then Dake has something that he often does. He says, see giants and sons of men, page 90. Now, we won't go there yet, but then he continues to write about this. He says, thus, not only does God's power exist in heaven, as the Bible states, but also in the lower places in the region of the dead, so that they whose bodies are in corruption still feel in their souls and spirits the power of God in hell. The places of the departed spirits of giants and ordinary wicked men is beneath the oceans and underneath the earth. Now, that is what he says there. Now, what is suggested also is to see page 90. And <laughs> if we do that, this has to do with the book of Genesis. And what it does here is you have seen, and I have showed you this before, and I, I will show it to you one more time. You will notice this is commentary on the book of Genesis after it's finished. And you will see that commentary right there. Uh, and this happens to be a section that is extremely well done and particularly interesting because what it is doing here. It is doing just what he said it would do. It's going to give us just what he said it would. He said, um, proof giants were sons of angels. Proof giants were sons of angels. Then he goes all through this. One, the fact that giants or beings of abnormal size in body have lived on earth in one of the most clearly stated truths in Scripture. The Hebrew nephil means giant bullies or tyrants, and it gives you scriptures. 
that they are abnormal in body size and clear in the fact that these men of Israel were as grasshoppers inside compared to these giants. Now, then he goes on, on, this starts on page 90, as it said, and he goes on and on with subjects, all about these. Uh, it, it just endless text with all kinds of scripture references. Now, that's what's interesting. If you go through this, you can go to all the scripture references mentioned all through here when he makes his case. Now, this goes to page 91, all the way down on the left-hand side. Then it goes page 91 on the middle column, all the way down that one. Um, and, and for example, number five, number seven, with the exception of Noah and the family of all the flesh, are corrupted because, and so forth and so forth. Then he goes to Noah. That's on the right-hand side of page 91. So that is his proof in all of the things that he has about these fallen angels um, that were those who made this giant leap into human beings. Now, that is only one small section and if you read all of this on page 90, you will find tons of scripture references all over the place that give you some idea of where you can find giants in scripture and what they are, and even mythological traditions that they have grown out of, he goes into, which is quite so, if you read it in other places. Uh, and he talks about the corruption of transmissions and these other types of things you can read. So... Um, he also talks about them having no resurrection. and I mean, it's extremely, extremely detailed. So this is only one section of this Dake annotated reference Bible that I am referring to now. And I will be referring to that again shortly because we are not quite done with Dake yet.